Today we're off to Oak Down in Devon. It's a multi award winning holiday park. So one unusual feature here is that the pitches don't have tracks or paths or roads, however you describe it, up to the actual pitch. So the pitches are gravel pitches. So here you can see the first one on the left-hand side. And there's no track to them, so you have to drive over grass. Whether that's an issue or not, I don't know. I'll worry a little bit in the winter months. Reception to the right hand side there, nice modern clean uh, reception. Off to the right you can see it's primarily static homes. As we come to this way here you see pictures either side of the main path. Directly ahead is the main amenity block. I'm not sure there's any more but I will endeavour to check that for you. So the amenity box, nice modern clean amenity block. There's a notice board on the right hand side, lots of uh, relevant details of local attractions, uh, various quizzes and things like that. Uh, there are some individual toilets to the left hand side. Again, more notice boards, ideas of trips and places you can visit, a whole host of uh, bits and pieces on the windowsill. Here we've got the uh, laundry room. So plenty of things there. As you move on, it goes into a room with washing machines. It's also got a very handy fridge freezer, or sorry, a freezer on the left hand side, which uh, you can obviously stick your own bits and pieces in, which is quite good if you're in a tent, I'd imagine. Ironing board, uh, dryers, washing machines, all usual bits and pieces, plus a microwave, which I thought was quite nice as well. So uh, ideal, really. Uh, down the uh, corridor, that's the gents' toilet. Individual shower cubicles. Unfortunately, you've got the fixed head and the button you have to press, but such is life. So around to here, these are, there's a family bathroom down here. There's uh, rooms here with a toilet and shower combined. This is the uh, uh, room for sort of less able people. So a large bath, handles to get in and out, that sort of thing. And further on down here, there is a family uh, shower room. Uh, this one actually cost a few pennies to use. Uh, I think it's £1.50 uh, to fill up the bath, I believe. Anyhow, uh, I think it's a good idea anyhow. So off to the left, seems to be an area predominantly with the tents, several of which have uh, picnic tables alongside them, which is quite nice. If you've got a dog, you'll be pleased to know the dog cleaning area here. Clean paws. There's a nice play area if you've got children here. Nice big play area. Lots of bits and pieces to keep the kids amused there. Slides and all that sort of stuff. White beam grove. Now here, these are fully serviced pitches here. So they have grey waste, uh, fresh water and EHU. And again, you have to drive over the grass. The pitches are lovely though, relatively level. Uh, and the grass is actually very, very nice. So again, look on the other side. It's mostly caravans here. I suppose it's predominantly because it's very family orientated. We have Sycamore Grove, that's the one on the right we just passed. Then we come to Maple Grove here. Same basic layout. 
most of the uh, pitchers have, or maybe all of the pitchers, have uh, quick access to uh, recycle bins. And it's Ash Grove. Again, all the same basic layout. These look like they're just basic EHU. And further on this way, we seem to have static homes. Again, drink and water, toilet disposal. I right, head back to where we came in. Just going past the amenity block on the left. Again, on the other side of the amenity block, looks like mostly static homes again. Now, another slightly unusual uh, feature here is it has a cafe and a shop, but they're not immediately on site. Virtually, almost on site, but not quite. So to get to the shop and cafe, you have to go back out the front gate, cross a little lane, so not too busy. And just outside, to the right hand side, is the cafe and shop. It also looks like they've got some sort of golf course there of some sort as well. They sell a wide range of food there. Hot paninis, uh, uh, pizzas, um, sausage rolls, pasties. Um, it's a nice area outside where you can sit. There's a sheltered area as well, just in case the weather's a bit miserable. So here's the shop. They have uh, fresh milk. Cold drinks. Got a nice selection of beers. And wines. And that's the cafe area. As you can see, fresh ice creams, all sorts of goodies there, pizzas, pasties, sausage rolls, a little seating area inside. So everything you really need from a local shop. Looks like they've got more another play area as well, they're just behind. And there's more motorhomes here and things, so let's have a look around here. This is obviously uh, an overflow area, possibly. So they obviously have to check in at reception first before they move on to this site. Again, same configuration, whereby there's no tracks to the actual pitches. Again, it looks like they also accept tents as well. Nice kids area. Looks like a large loop. So, very much family orientated. Um, probably not ideal if you're after a really quiet time. That said, we've not really experienced any issues with noise, really. So, camping at Caravan and Club, uh, Visit England Gold, Devon Tourist Awards, uh, Southwest England Tourist Excellence Awards. So, clearly, a popular site. Prior to arriving at Oakdown, we decided to spend the morning at Sydney Seafront. It's about a 20 minute drive from Oakdown. There's a convenient car park that accepts motorhomes called Manor Road Longstay Car Park. It's about 10 minutes walk to the Sidmouth Seafront and Town Centre from the car park. While we were at Oakdown, we took the opportunity to visit the Sidmouth Donkey Sanctuary. It's a 15 minute walk and definitely worth a visit. You can find a link to the Donkey Sanctuary at the end of this video.